point out the obvious real quick, and that is my lips. Yes, they are bright red. Yes, they look like a hot mess, and that's because I just got done filming 11 Tarte lip paint swatches for you guys. So they're a little sore and a little messy looking right now, and that's just because I just got done filming those lip swatches, and let me tell you, rip to my lips. So before we get into this review and lip swatches, if you are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe right here, or if you're on mobile device, scroll down a little bit. There'll be a little red subscribe button. You just click it, and that way you get notified for future videos. So now let's just go ahead and get into this review and lip swatches. All right, so first off, I have 11 shades of the Tarte lip paints, and there are a total of 14 in the collection, so I am actually missing three. The first color that I am missing is Cray Cray, and that is like a really red, orange, kind of bright color. And then the other color is called Selfish, and that's more of a hot pink. And then the third color is called Man Bun, and that one is more of a burgundy red. But I have the other 11 shades right here, and the Tarte Lip Paints retail for $20, and you can get these at Sephora, Ulta, or even TarteCosmetics.com. And also Sephora has one exclusive shade to only that Sephora carries, and that is called FOMO. So I will show that swatch in this video, but you can only get FOMO if you are VIB Rouge, unfortunately. All right, so now just to give you guys my quick little review of these lip paints. These lip paints, I have noticed that they have like a love-hate relationship here online from what I've been seeing of the reviews, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my thoughts on these. And first off, I know everyone always asks me about what the smell of them are, and they straight up smell like menthol. So they smell like mint, so they smell really good. They leave a cooling sensation on the lips, so it's kind of refreshing. So that is one little plus about these. They have a very unique formula to them that kind of leave a satin finish, so they're very smooth, and it truly does leave a satin finish. They don't dry down to completely matte, so don't expect to be getting extremely matte lip color from these. They kind of dry down to more of a satin finish that has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it feels so smooth on the lips. There are a few cons to these, and the cons are that some of the shades, they tend to settle into those fine lines, which is why I really recommend wearing a lip liner with these, also to keep them from bleeding out, but also just to keep them from settling to any fine lines. So I say line your whole entire lips and fill them in with the lip liner and then put these on top of it to kind of prevent that from happening. Also, another bummer about these is that these transfer really easily. Because they don't dry down completely, they can transfer to your teeth really easily or they can transfer to anything else super easily as well. So these Tarte lip paints can last from anywhere from one to two hours on the lips, depending on if you're eating or drinking. If you're eating or drinking, they are gonna wear off really fast, but if you're not doing any of that, they do stay on for quite a while. And a plus to these is that you can actually reapply them extremely easily. You usually don't have to worry about reapplying a liquid lipstick because sometimes they can get really like cakey and crumbly and it just gets really ucky if you try to reapply liquid lipsticks. These ones are actually really good to reapply and easy to reapply as well. And they're not gonna cake up too much and they're not gonna crumble as much as other liquid lipsticks are. So for me, I actually do enjoy these liquid lipsticks because I enjoy that they're so different than other liquid lipsticks that I have tried. They have a really nice, smooth finish to them that's comfortable to wear, so I actually really do like them. So these two shades are my favorite, and the first one is called Namaste, which is a great, perfect nude. I love it. And the other color is called TBT, so I love these. These are your just like classic nudes, kind of mauve shade over here. But but these two shades I definitely recommend because they are lighter so you don't really have to worry about them transferring too easily and being able to see them that much on the teeth that they do transfer. So I actually really do like these. All right, so now let's just go ahead and get into the lip swatches. All right, so the first shade that I'm going to swatch for you is called Namaste, and this is one of my favorite colors. This is the perfect nude, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a very pretty pinky nude with some brown undertones to it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and I definitely recommend this shade. I think it's so pretty. And the next shade is called TBT, another one of my favorites, and this one is just a really gorgeous kind of a darker mauve brown shade, I want to say absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade. I think it's perfect for the winter time. It's just that kind of perfect deeper lip color that I think is perfect for everyday wear and for the winter time. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is the shade FOMO. And this is the one that you can only get at Sephora if you're VIB Rouge, but this is another gorgeous shade. This one is more of a mauve purplish shade, I wanna say. Another really pretty one. 
I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see that it has a little bit more of those purple tones in it and another great shade for the winter time. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is the shade Hangry. Oh yeah, you bet I get hangry when I'm hungry. Yup. All right, so Hangry is a really pretty kind of a, a berry shade. As you can see, it's got those kind of red and purple tones in it. Another gorgeous shade for the winter time. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is called Frenemy. And this one is kind of a darker shade than um, Hangry is. It's definitely more of a deeper berry color, but you can also see that it has those red and purple tones in it. So if you don't want to go as dark as Frenemy, I definitely recommend going with Hangry because it's a little bit more of a lighter shade of this, but this one is definitely more deeper than Hangry. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is called Love Spell. And let's see what this one is. This one is a really pretty kind of it's a berry, but it's got more of a pink tone in it, almost like magenta, I want to say. Yeah, I definitely say that this is more of a magenta shade. I think it'd be perfect for the spring and summer if you want to go with more of a deeper shade instead of something so hot pink. I think this is a great way to go, which is more on the cooler side of the tones rather than the warmer tones. All right, so the next shade that I'm going to swatch is called Adorbs, and this is a very hot pink like hot, hot pink, but it definitely has a little bit of a cool tone to it, I wanna say. You can kind of see it right there. So this just reminds me of like that perfect like hot Barbie pink. Like let me tell you, this is very, very bright and it would be perfect for the spring and summertime. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is called So Fetch, which is so Mean Girls. <laughs> and this one is more of a corally pink. And this is another really pretty shade. I definitely like this one better than Adorbs because this one is more wearable. I think you could also probably like mix this up with Namaste. Namaste? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can mix those two shades up and kind of create more of a nudie coral, which would be really pretty as well. But I really like this one. It's a really gorgeous coral shade, perfect for spring and summer. All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is called Yes. And this one is like that classic kind of tart purple like you guys can tell like with all their packaging it's this shade of purple and this purple is very much like a lavender and kind of lilac with those blue undertones you can see that it's a mix of purple and blue tones in it a really pretty shade a little bit more out there it's not something i would necessarily gravitate to but it is very unique i must say all right so this next shade that i'm going to swatch is called twerk and I swear these names are very interesting in this collection. So this one is more of a purplish pink, I wanna say magenta shade. Um, you can definitely see a lot of the pink tones in this. Another shade that would be perfect for spring and summer if you love those magenta, pink, purplish shades. I think you would love this if this is what you usually gravitate to. Just take a look at how stained I am right now. Like, these lip paints stain so much. Oh my goodness, they stain so much. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that off. I'm gonna have to go get an oil to get that off. <laughs> All right, so the next shade that I'm gonna swatch is called Bay. And I actually really like this one. I think this is probably one of my favorite darker shades in the collection. And this is just like your perfect red. I think this is a gorgeous, cool toned, kind of burgundy red. Really pretty. It's got those blue tones in it, which I don't know if those are gonna catch up on camera as they are in person because you're really just picking up all that stained pinkness that I have going on right there. Like, it's intense. So yeah, I think this is a gorgeous shade. This is one of my favorite darker shades in the collection. I really love this red. I think this is perfect. All right, so now that my hands are completely stained, that is the end of this lip swatch video. Like I was saying, if you could see how stained my hands are right here, you could imagine what my lips look like underneath this lip color that I'm wearing. Which, by the way, I will have it linked down below because I am not wearing one of the Tarte lip paints because it just wasn't working. I needed to put something moisturizing on because my lips are just 11 lip swatches of liquid lipsticks. Not fun, let me tell you. So I will have my lip color listed down below for you guys like I always do. And I will also have all these lip paints listed down below with the colors and prices and where you can get them. All that fun stuff, just always make sure to check the description box. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you to kind of see if you wanted to get some of these lip paints and what shades you would want to get or if you know that this is going to be a pass for you. So I really hope that this was helpful for all of you and if it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Because they're so different, they have such a different finish and such a different feel than other liquid lipsticks have. I just dropped that. Oh my god you guys like look at my hand look at how stained that is like if my hand is this stained you should imagine what my lips look like. ow